It's it's a story tonight. I oh, know. It's the clearest night I've ever seen. Wait. What's that over there? I don't see anything. No, over there! It's an iceberg. Call the captain's office. What do you see? An iceberg dead ahead. Thank you. Iceberg dead ahead. Hold the starboard. Yes, sir. Hold the starboard. Ding! Fullerstan! Fullerstan! Ding! Oh, no. Fullerstan! Fullerstan! Close all the watertight doors. They're closing the doors on us! Come on, hurry up! The doors are closer. Good. Why aren't they turning? What was that, Mr. Murdoch? An iceberg, sir. An iceberg. Close out the watertight doors. The doors are closed, sir. I tried to port round the ship, but she hit. Summon Thomas Andrews. Yes, sir. Water. Fourteen feet above the keel in boiler room six. When can we get back to our course to New York? That's five compartments fully flooded. She can stay afloat with four compartments, but five. Not five. As the water continues to go over the bulkheads, she'll go down and down and down. There's no stopping it. The pumps. The pumps by your time. But minutes only. From this point on, no matter what we do, Titanic will sink. But the ship cannot sink. She's made of iron, sir. I assure you, she can. And she will. There's a mathematical certainty to it. How much time? An hour. Two at the most. Mr. Murdoch, you will be in charge of launching the lifeboats on the starboard side. And Mr. Lightoller, you will be in charge of life and launching the lifeboats on the port side. Understood, men? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll go to the Marconi room and tell Phillips and Harold Bride to send a message to incoming ships. I also want distress rockets fired. Let's go. Yes, sir. What's wrong, Captain? We struck an iceberg. An iceberg? Yes, an iceberg. I need you to send distress calls to any near ships. Tell them that we're going down by the head and that we need immediate assistance. Yes, sir. I'll check in with you later and tell me if any ships are responding. Yes, sir. Mr. Bride, has a ship responded to our call? Yes, sir. The Carpathia is coming. Here's her coordinates. Let's see. From the coordinates right now and at top speed, they should be here in four hours. Thank you, Mr. Bride. Th thank you, Captain. Yes, come in. Pardon me, sir, but I have been instructed to tell you to please put on your life jackets and report up on to the boat deck immediately. Okay, are we in some kind of trouble, though? No trouble at all, sir. It's just a drill. We'll be back on ship for breakfast in the morning. But do just roll me. It's mighty cold outside. Okay, thank you for the information. You're welcome, sir. Have a pleasant night. Please, stay back. We want to make sure that everybody has their life jackets on before we let you up to the boat deck. Please, get to a lifeboat. There's no time to waste. Mr. Andrews, I can see fear in your eyes. Please tell me the truth about what is going on. The ship will sink. Are you certain? Yes. An hour or so. All of us will be at the bottom of the Atlantic. Oh, my. Please, get to a lifeboat. There's no time to waste. I don't want to be responsible for any panic. Please, go to a lifeboat. Thank you. You can do no more. 
You are relieved of duty. It's every man for himself now. Try to save yourselves. Breakers on! Keep them on! <sighs>